I'm Brad and today we're making old outdoor furniture look new again. I made the patio cooler back in June of 2016 and I added most of the other pieces by the following June. So they've been on my covered deck for three to four years. All right, the first step in restoring furniture is to give it a good cleaning and that starts with vacuuming it and giving it a good bristle brush to get all the debris off. Look at this wood under the cushions where I just took them all. The wood looks almost perfect. It's not seeing any sun, wind, rain, dirt, grime, anything. And this is what you would have if it was not outside. But it is outside and so we gotta still get to the cleaning, but at least I won't have to touch this part. The next step we're gonna do is clean with soap and water. You just need a quarter cup of dishwashing detergent and a gallon of warm water. Let's mix this up. All right, my bucket of soap and a rinse bucket, just like when you're washing a car so we can keep the cloth a little bit cleaner. Uh, what I'm gonna to try to do is just clean these. I'm not even gonna to try to clean the patio cooler because it is far gone. I know I'm gonna to have to sand and refinish this. But these, I'm not sure how much of this is just dirt and how much we'll be able to get out with the soap. So let's find out. All right, with just a little bit of cleaning, you can see already all the grime that has come off. Uh, I cleaned this left leg over here, and honestly, it looks really good. I might be able to keep this just like this. This top one's got a little bit more wear, uh, but you can see the difference between where I have cleaned and where I have not. So just the soap and water is gonna take off a ton of dirt and grime, and if it's in good condition, you might be able to get away with just this, which is what we're trying to do. The least amount of work that we can with the wood still being protected. And the next day I started working on the side tables and the coffee table. And they were in such good condition that I could just lightly sand them with 220 grit to scuff up the surface and then apply a few top coats of varnish. I taped the concrete top so the varnish wouldn't get on it. And then I just brushed on some Total Boat Gleam 2.0 with a sponge brush. And I'm using satin here. All right, unfortunately, I'm running out of daylight. I got a super late start to the day, but I did get the coffee table first coat on that as well as these, this one side table here. And they are looking great so far, uh, just with a little scuffing in a top coat. So I'm gonna come back and do another top coat and get the other ones tomorrow. But this is a great way to put in just a little bit of effort and rejuvenate that finish. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. All right, got an early start today and these turn out really awesome. These side tables look absolutely amazing and then i'll show you on the coffee table what's going on because there is still a little bit of weathering that you see here but we're okay with that it's also a good way to show you what's going to happen if you don't sand down all the way to the bare wood now to get the patio cooler down to bare wood i took off all the hardware and then i removed the finish with 80 grit sandpaper on my random orbital sander All right, I got through all the sanding and having a nice big sander really helps a lot. But eventually you're gonna get into some spots where the sander's just not gonna get because of the, the circular nature of it. You can't get up into corners and just it's hard to get into little spots. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit these little spots in here with a hand sander and then we'll talk about getting into all the little details in just a second. 
when you're completely stripping and refinishing the furniture, you really got to set your expectations because if you want it to look exactly like it did in the beginning, it's going to be a lot more effort. Like all these details in here, to take that from 95% good to 100% good is going to take you a ton of time. I'm not going to worry about that. I want this thing to be 90 to 95% of what it was new. So give yourself a little leeway there and think about what your expectations are before you go in so you don't have to spend a ton of extra time doing it to not really get that much return. I've got this whole thing sanded down now to 80 grit. I'm gonna go back and hit it with 150 grit. And as I was doing the 80 grit, I made sure to finish up with the strokes going with the grain. Also do the same thing when you're going to 150 grit. You could go to 120 as well and then 150 and you could even go to 220. I don't think that's really necessary for an outdoor piece like this that doesn't really get a lot of touching. So go with the grain and then we'll go in and start doing a sealer. And with the patio cooler done, I could move over to the raised planter. All right, I just sanded the top on the planter, and one thing to note, don't think that you have to do the entire piece. This top was really bad because it gets all the water and the sun, but the sides look amazing. And so I'm just gonna do what I did on the tables on the bottom of this, and I'm gonna just refinish the top. It's gonna save you a ton of time so you don't have to strip, and you don't have to have the added coats on the front end because I'm gonna have to seal this before I can start building coats. Now, after sanding everything to 150 grit, I removed all the dust and started sealing the wood. I started off with Total Boat Wood Sealer and watched that cedar come to life. All right, at this point, I have a sealer on that. I have at least the first coats on the other pieces. And so from now, it's just about building coats. And really, the more coats you add, the more protection you're gonna get, but only to a certain extent, obviously. So I'm gonna work my way around, and because I have so many pieces to work on, by the time I'm done with the first one and come back around to it, I might be able to do another coat. Between coats, you wanna sand with a high grit sandpaper, like a 320 grit, maybe a 400 grit, and just real light sanding. All you're trying to do is scuff up the surface and remove any dust nibs or any imperfections in there. There. And you'll know when it's ready to be sanded, you'll get a nice powdery white dust if you're using the spar urethane like I'm using. If it starts gumming up or it's hard to sand, that means it's not ready and it needs more time to cure. After that, just make sure you wipe everything down, get all that dust off, and then you can apply your next coat. I'm using more Total Boat Gleam here, and I'm using gloss until I get to the final coat, which I'll use satin in. And try using the reflecting light to see where the finish is going on. If you have gaps or spots that you've missed, you'll be able to see them as those spots won't reflect the light. So you can pick up runs and drips this way as well and fix it before it dries. I got the first coat on after the sealer and it still feels a little rough. And you can see that when you look at it into the sun, if you don't have a consistent sheen and glare, then that means that you're not quite ready. So I'm sanding down, I'm actually getting a little more aggressive with 220 just to get that roughness down and try to fill in that void. So the rougher it is, the higher grit that you wanna go. 220, I wouldn't go much lower than that because you'll sand through it and get back to the wood. So I'm gonna sand it down, do another coat, build it up and get to that glossy sheen. It's probably gonna take two more coats. Now, while I was waiting for the finish to dry, I took the hardware for the patio cooler inside to spruce it up a bit. I started off with a rust remover soak to get rid of all the surface rust that I could. I dumped all the parts in there together and I let them sit for a few hours. And when I came back and fished the parts out, they looked great and all that rust was gone. I dried all of them off and then I laid them out on my DIY Lazy Susan. By the way, my wife Susan hates the name of that thing. <laughs> and then I hit them with three coats of gloss black enamel spray. I think the black is going to look a lot cooler than the silver, actually. It's going to have a nice contrast with the cedar. I took the hardware out and I reinstalled it and everything on the deck was looking amazing. Now, 
Now with minimal work with the side table, sofa, and coffee table, they looked great again. And that patio cooler got a total makeover from its former nasty state. Now with the refinished deck, this place looks like a million bucks and we're gonna enjoy a lot of time out here this summer. Hey, if you wanna see how I built any of this furniture, I've got a playlist queued up for you right there. I have a video on every single piece. Thank you so much to all the folks that are joining the Builders Club. There's more information down below you can check out and I'll catch you guys on the next video.